It's time for Show Off Sunday, where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner. This is my 2017 Camaro SS, and I'm gonna show you around it. And since last week's video, I have done a lot of stuff to it, such as plastic dipping it and a few other things. And Scotty's asked me to go through the process of dipping. Now, most of you guys are probably familiar with these black plastic dip cans that you could find at any auto parts store. At a website called dipyourcar.com, they have hundreds of different colors that you can choose. Black cans are still pretty useful. I've uh, done my mirrors and also my spoiler in the matte black plastic dip. But to do a whole car, you need something a lot bigger than a rattle can because that'll take hours to do. So that's why they make gallons of plastic dip. Now they make these in these solid color gallons. This one is black and dip your car makes a special clear coat which you could add pearl into this one is the matte finish that just came out and with these clear gallons you can mix any pearl you want inside now on dipyourcar.com they have pro car kits which you can just add to your car in order with a specific color that you would want I ordered the carbon red kit, which came with everything I needed. But what I did, I added a little bit more black Betty and also a special reflective powder to it. This is Dip Your Car Single Turbine Sprayer. They have an upgraded model, but this worked perfectly fine for what I do in my garage. And this is their sprayer that hooks up to the uh, compressor. If you want a more in-depth video of the dipping process, you can go on to Dip Your Car's YouTube channel and watch their videos of them dipping cars. But for right now, I'll show you the process of how you can dip something. What you'll need is a... Um, gas mask because these fumes are not good for you now i'm gonna have my mask on for the process of me dipping it so my voice may be a little bit muffled now i'm gonna be doing a white base coat just like so i can show you the coverage so what you want to do is start a light pack coat just so this is creating the foundation for all the dip to stick to your car. And you're gonna to need to let this first coat dry for about five minutes. While the plastic dip is drying, I'll be showing you around my car. So since last week's video, I've removed the tint over my taillights because I think it looks a lot better with the new finish I have in my car. I have installed a ZL1 style C7 front splitter and also the ZL1 style side skirts. All right, so it's been five minutes since I laid down my first tack coat. So now I'm gonna go back over a little bit heavier. And you're gonna want the second coat to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. To maintain Plasti Dip's peelable ability, you need to do around five to six coats. Now, what most people don't like about Plasti Dip is having overspray in your car. Now, as you see, I have some overspray inside my door jams. And Dip Your Car makes a fantastic product called Dip Dissolver. It's a lot like Goo Gone or Citrusolve or any of those degreasers, but it's specifically made to remove Plasti Dip. Now all you have to do is just spray some into a microfiber towel. And then all you have to do is just wipe where you don't want it. And it comes off super, super easy. And just like that, it's completely clean. Same thing goes for the inside of my door. Really light pressure, you just have to 
wipe it off. And probably the most important thing to Plasti Dip, besides the actual Plasti Dip, is this dip coat. And dip coat can be used to clean your whole car, but most importantly, it hardens the Plasti Dip. And you could use it to clean little tree sap spots like that. All you have to do is just spray a little bit on there, and it wipes right off. Same thing for that little spot, just spray a little bit on it, and it wipes right off. And it actually protects your dip while you're cleaning it. Now you're gonna to wanna to spray that dip coat on your car every one to two weeks just to keep the dip the proper condition and it'll make your dip last years and years. So on a 50-50 overlap, you wanna start at the bottom and you wanna pass over what you've sprayed. And for something small like this, you can go back over in the opposite direction. So you get a full wet coat. And I'm only gonna be doing around four coats just to show you how the dip works and how it peels. So I'm gonna be doing the last coat right now. And for the last coat, you wanna have this be the heaviest coat. And the texture you see right now will smooth out when it dries. Now, while the paint is still wet, you want to peel off any tape that you have that's touching any surface that you want to have dip on. So to get a clean line across this, all you have to do is just start peeling it. It may not get the cleanest because the paint dried a little bit, but you just do that and it leaves a clean edge and then anything that's coming up, you just tap down. And all you have to do to peel the Plasti Dip is find an edge, start rolling it up. And it should all peel off evenly like that. and it's completely clean. As always, you guys can follow me at Dipped Camaro on Instagram. And to check out Plasti Dip, go to dipyourcar.com and you can see all the pro car kits they offer. Well, that was this week's video. And remember, to have your car video highlighted here on my channel, check this out. <laughs>